Welcome to this session where we're going to be taking a look at what excretion is and why it is important to remove certain products. This is taken from the OCR specification for A-level biology and it's from the excretion topic. So there's a couple of definitions we need to know about to start off with. Excretion, this is where we have the removal and processing of waste as it leaves the body. We've got metabolic waste and this is waste produced by, by metabolism, which is carbon dioxide and urea. We have the removal of undigested waste by defecation, which is egestion. Deamination is the removal of ammonia from amino acids. And you do need to know that in a bit more detail, which will occur within the next couple of sessions. Secretion, this is removal by of substances from a cell normally, or a gland or an organ. Really important here you use excretion and secretion in the correct terminology. If you say that, for example, an enzyme is excreted from a cell, you won't get the mark. But if you say that the enzyme is secreted from the cell, you would get the mark. So you need to make sure that you're using the correct terminology. Now, it's really important that we undergo the process of excretion because we need to maintain a relatively stable internal environment within narrow limits, even though the environment is changing. And that is homeostasis. If we do not excrete these products, it's going to become too toxic for the body. So it's really important they are removed. Carbon dioxide is produced from aerobic respiration and urea. This is produced from the process of deamination of excess amino acids in the body. Now, this part here is a little recap from transporting animals where we need to know about how carbon dioxide is transported in the body. So we should already know that approximately 5% of carbon dioxide is dissolved straight into the blood plasma and carried around the blood. We've got 10% combined in combining with hemoglobin to form carbamine and hemoglobin. Yes, you need to know that terminology. And we have the majority of it, 85%, which forms hydrocarbonate ions. And again, yes, you need to know how hydrocarbonate ions are formed, being able to describe it in quite a lot of detail. So this is the process by which hydrocarbonate ions are actually formed. You do need to know in this, it's worth, it's worth covering it up, writing it out, trying to recall as much as possible. So just to remind you, Carbon dioxide diffuses into the red blood cell or erythrocyte. It combines with water to form carbonic acid. This carbonic acid then dissociates into hydrogen ions and also hydrocarbonate ions. Um, now, these hydrogen ions lower the pH of the blood. Therefore, in order to act as a buffer, my hemoglobin will bind to my hydrogen ions to form hemoglobinic acid. And um, you need to be aware of what that term is. Carbamine or hemoglobin, this is where carbon dioxide binds directly to my hemoglobin. Um, what also happens here is my hydrocarbon ions um, dissociate. They move out of my cell uh, into the surrounding blood plasma and chloride sh the chloride shift occurs in order to balance out that movement of ions, chloride ions move back in. So you do need to know that in a bit more detail. Um, so that's why we need to remove carbon dioxide because it, it forms, it, it can form um, this acidic blood, which we do not want, respiratory acidosis, which we do not want. This carbamine hemoglobin lowers the affinity for oxygen. So therefore it makes oxygen more available for aspiring tissues, which is the Bohr effect, but we don't want it to be maintained within the body. Um, the next thing that we need to be able to get rid of is the excess amino acids. So we can't store amino acids, but they still contain a lot of energy. So what the liver does is it removes part of it um, by deamination. And this creates ammonia. Now, ammonia we can't store. We need to get rid of it. And ammonia is then converted into a more soluble, um, well, less soluble, less toxic compound called urea, which can then be excreted from the body in the process of urination so that is what excretion is those are the different ways in which to remove some of those products and why we need to do it the main thing here is to help to maintain that relatively stable internal environment through homeostasis for processes such as metabolic reactions guys good luck in your exams please remember to use good scientific terminology and not this and that an it, an amount and size. Good luck.